Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tamria. Welcome to Tales of Zestiria, a game that I've not really known a lot about. I never played any of the Tales games, but neither have I played any of the Metal Gear Solid games, and yet I kind of like the series. And apparently it's cinematic starts. Nope, no, it just starts all over again. <laughs> okay then. Anyway, welcome once again to Tales of Zestiria. Press any key. First of all, let's go to controls. Make sure that it's set to Xbox controller. Good, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Control settings, graphic settings, subtitles. I just want to make sure the subtitles are on. It doesn't say controls. It doesn't. It's not going to say here, is it? Nope, it's not going to say here. I hope the subtitles are on. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump into this game. Difficulty, battle difficulty, uh, basic difficulty level. What have we got? Uh, hard, moderate, normal, or simple. A fun, easy, difficulty level for those unused to action battles. I'm pretty used to it, so I think I'll go on normal. Subtitles on. Menu shortcuts. Equipments, items. None? I'll, I'm just gonna go with default. Uh, map care, rotation speed. That's okay. That's all good. Good, 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 good. Alright. Uh, voice volume. I'll, now I'll keep as is. Okay, then. Let's confirm the settings, and let's begin. The Legend of the Shepherds In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. Once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. People began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. Alright, so that was actually kind of wonderful. I am very stoked, very excited, so let's do this. Uh, basic controls, okay, cool. Alright then, Elisa, home of the Seraph. Wow. I love this game already. <laughs> okay, so immediately the art gets a kudos from me, because those clouds look amazing. I know that's weird getting crazy over clouds, but my god, this game is already charming. It's just charming. I like it. And it has that whole like anime art style thing, which I kinda dig. I'm digging it. Definitely digging it. Can I do anything here? So what I got? Okay, X is to do something with sword, slice something. Y are the menu. Press Y to open the top menu. Uh, here you can check characters HP, red gauge, initial SC, blue gauge, and choose which character to join in battle along uh, with other options. Uh, on the menu screen you can press start to view help for that screen. Okay, so that's it. What about artists? Don't know what that does. What is this? 
set up enchantment routes for battle. Battle actions. You can view the criteria for acquiring an unlearned battle action by highlighting that action in the menu with the cursor. Battle actions marked as auto indicate that the action is performed automatically. This may be useful for players new to the game, systems who are still figuring out uh, the rules. No, battle systems who are still figuring out the rules. God, I can't read. Uh, once you get the hang of combat, try removing these actions and using your AP for other battle actions. Auto guard, auto backstab, auto sidestep, auto front step, and snipe charge. Defend for one or more seconds and the effect potential of your next attack. I'm gonna keep it as that. Just because I don't feel like messing with it for now. <laughs> Fashion? Change character's appearance. We get nothing. Alright, let's go back out of the menu. Let's run around a bit over here. What do we got over here? Hello. Oh, it's the wall from the, uh, from the trailer. Brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. <laughs> About time I found it. Nothing on my end, Soray. Miklio. Looks like he beat me this time. <laughs> this proves the shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that... I think our ruin adventure is over for today. Come on! This way, hurry! I guess the clouds are a bad omen or something's coming in. All right. Ah, that was too close. Yeah, really. Could I get Whoa. a little help, please? Surging current. Twin flow. Okay, that was cool. Uh, oh. Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh, good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Can we speak to him? Okay, let's see what he has to say. I uh, never knew the ruins went this deep. Better leave the investigating for another time. We need to find a way out of here. Alright, so these are cool looking ruins. What do we got here? Anything we can interact with? Is that like a first person mode I can go into? Find a way back to the village. Okay, Mount Mabinogio Ruins. Okay, that's where we are right now. Left Sugar's map. That's interesting. Can't do anything right now. Okay. Okay, so Y will pull up a little side menus for us to use during the map. Alright, cool. Can we get out? Okay, there we go. 
Alright, what have we got here? We got a bunch of tombs, but your looks like either Mayan ruins? I'm not I'm not good with ruins, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good with foreign architecture. Uh, okay, we received Sage. Increase maximum HP by 10. All herbs fully restore HP and SC. Sweet. We got ourselves an herb. What else we got over here? Let's check every single nuke and cranny in case we miss out a cool collectible. Or something that could help us in the future of the game. Looks like we had nothing. What is this? Save game. To save your current game progress, stand on save point and press A. Oh, it's like one of those places where we gotta save at only a certain location. That's cool. Let's go ahead and save right here. It's saved, right? Yeah, just making sure. Alright, let's go through this. What else we got over here? We got a door. Who will this take us to? Whoa! Oh man, what a drop! It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... It's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. So, there's a human over there. Does that mean we aren't human? What should go for us? There's no time to lose. We have to reach her? I guess let's go with that. Uh, playing with Shining Knight is all good and well. Or well, playing the Shining Knight is all good and well. But you won't save anyone if you get yourself hurt. Or worse. Thanks for the tip, buddy. He's a bundle of joy, isn't he? Okay, we got a s oh, spiders again. <sighs> My worst enemy comes to every single game out there. Spiders just making webs and killing people all over the place. Map actions. You can swing your sword outside of battle by pressing X. Use it to remove obstacles to block your path. Like spider webs. Yeah, my sword's all sticky. Cobwebs well, everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. Damn spiders! Gotta look out for the ceilings. They gotta be—they're gonna jump me. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna jump me just out of nowhere. Look for ceilings. Try to find those buggers. <laughs> the one thing I'm scared of are spiders. I can't deal with them, no matter what game it is. Oh god. What's wrong? Perform martial arts with B. Martial arts. Perform martial arts with B. When the control mode is set to semi auto, you will run forward your target until you're close enough to attack. You can then create up to a four hit combo with additional presses of B. It's possible to acquire new arts by leveling up. Oh, that's kind of cool. Pretty sweet. I like that. That was cool. Wait, hold on. It can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Flashback. Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two, common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. Cut it.
we can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl before something worse finds her. Man, we are just non shining armor, aren't we? Encounters. In areas where Hellions roam, making contact with an enemy will launch a battle. By swinging your sword using X or using other map actions, you can begin the battle with an advantage. Oh, like a JRPG. That's kind of cool. I like that. Alright, let's, uh... Do we need anything? I'll get just battle results, never mind. Would we need that? Alright, can you say anything? Let's see. Uh... So that was a Hellion. Yeah, and I doubt it's the only one. We need to get out there as quietly as quickly as we can. All right, can do. So if we see a Hellion again, we'll just slash him and hopefully get an advantage. Right, what do we got? Ooh, chests, treasure chests. You can find treasure chests in dungeons and in the field, as well as consumables. Chests can contain equipable items. These may often have the same name, but they perform differently depending on the attached skill. You can check any item skill in the equipment menu. Cool. Received an ancient earring. Earrings discovered among ruins, said to endow the wearer with an enhanced understanding of nature. I wonder if I can put that on right now, actually. Equipment for you. Equipment, customize your equipment, yep. And blah 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 blah. Ability stats. You can check skills where you have equipped by opening a skill sheet with the right trigger. This is skill types. Uh, there are three methods of activating bonus skills. Stack, create equipment, multiple copies in the same basic skill. The number indicates how many of that skill is equipped. Equip two or more to activate a bonus skill. Elemental Union, created by equipping skills directly adjacent to each other on the left or right. Line up two or more skills to activate a bonus skill. Group Union, create uh, by equipping a vertical column of skills in one group. Line up all five skills in a group to activate a bonus skill. It's perfectly fine to select equipment based on its parameters, but by combining different skills, you may discover surprisingly effective interactions. Take a little time to add different types of skills and find the ones best suited for your playstyle. Sweet! That's actually kind of cool. Can I do anything here? Natural waistcoat. Battle boots. No, both have battle, battle boots, don't we? This ancient sword. What's this? I have no idea. Let's go back to armor. Uh, ancient earrings. We did find some extra ancient earrings. What about our friend here? He has an ancient circlet. That's all he has. Ancient earrings. Will they give us more stats? The ones we have are better. Well, actually, it's the same thing that we have already. There's no point of us equipping it then. All right then. Don't have to worry about it. Is that a monolith? Here. Oh. Searching for monoliths, scattered through the dungeons and fields are stone monuments or monoliths, written by personal unknown that detail lost battle techniques. After fighting one, you can check its teachings at any time in the battle section of the system book. For each, for each of you find, you will gain AP, which is necessary for setting battle actions. When you find one, press A to investigate it further. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. Martial Arts. As you fight more battles, you will level up and acquire new martial arts. Changing and uh, piercing arts, mobile and area of effect arts. That's all the left stick. Switch, uh, switch them up as needed depending on how the battle is going. You can view available attacks in the arts menu. That's a lot of things to keep up with. <laughs> Did you get all that? No, you didn't get any of it. Let's go get the chest. Oh? Oh, oh, hello. You get advantage? I think we did. I think we do more damage from the side, actually. I think we do. Nice! Spirit Chain. The Spirit Chain is the energy needed to create combos in battle. The maximum SC you can have at any time is 100. Actions such as Martial Arts will consume your SC, and having low SC makes you vulnerable. SC can be replenished by being idle, guarding, or moving around. Keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't drop to zero. Alright, that's another thing to look out for. That's cool, though. What do we got here? Uh, apple gel. Medical gel uh, heals one's ally HP by 30% when, while moving or in battle. Cool. Alright then. Let's continue for let's continue forward. Anything back here? Oh, let me check this little nuke and cranny. Anything back here? Nope, nothing. 
In these games, you gotta look around and look for things, because there are gonna be a bunch of drops left and right. Gotta pick them up, every single one that you can find. Because they're gonna be rare, they're gonna be important as well. And there's a save point, wonderful. Let's see, I'm gonna save over the next one. I think I'm gonna interchange two, the two saves together. Oh? I knew it! Yep. Defend against enemy attack with X. Guarding. Guard with X. Guarding allows you to greatly reduce damage when inflicted by enemy attacks. For each attack you block, you recover SC. Cool. I'm guarding right now. It's not doing anything. Guess that was unnecessary for me to guard and send that guard in the entire time. Okay, the blue bar is the SC I'm working on. Okay, cool. How will I got to guard, really? <laughs> HP points. Taking damage from enemies reduced to HP. Yep, I already know about HP. It's pretty common. Uh, apple gel. Wonderful, another one of those. What have we got back here? Can't go there. And we got, looks like a, uh... We're near one. Here we are. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. Guarding. If the enemy guards against your action, SC recovery rate is halved until your next move. If an enemy successfully blocks your first attack, it's likely to keep blocking any further ones. Take care not to just combo indiscriminately. Note that this rule applies to enemies as well, so your goal is to deplete the SC. Guarding is a small move. Sounds good, I can do that. So there oh hello. Let me go and deal with you. Got. How do I switch targets? That's the upper... How do I switch targets, actually? Items, strategy, arts, equipment? What can I do with arts? Automatic. Do we have any other art? No, we don't. Left stick A. Apparently that does something. Nope, that does nothing. Sweet. Nice, that was kind of cool. So there's a goal over there, we just gotta get to the other side to get to her. So let's run through here. I'm still yet to understand the... all of combat, but I feel like I'm gonna learn as I continue to play. This is cool though, I like this. This is a really charming game. A nice JRPG style game. Oh, Scooters. Hi Scooters. Perform a quick step with X. Quick step with X and L, you can uh, quick step forwards, backwards, left or right, when close to a target, you can quick step next to it or behind it. Quick step can be used as part of a combo, and by flicking L, you get the same effect. Okay, so if we flick it, that'll do, the, that'll do pretty much the same thing that we need to do. Oh god. How do I change target? Here's the thing, how do I ch Okay, so I gotta hold down right bumper and change target. Okay, learning bit by bit. I got your back, bud. Level up, nice. Uh, learn new art. Title proficiency increased. Uh, title proficiency increased. Equipment proficiency increased. Oh, nice. Free run. Use left trigger and L to free run, which allows you to freely position yourself on the battlefield. Oh, nice. See, now that's kind of cool. Learning little by little, but still learning a lot of useful stuff here. I'm gonna become a spider killer in no time. <laughs> Circle it where they're from ancient runes, increases casting speed on Seraph Arts, as well as their strength. And that's from our buddy over there. What's his name again? Uh, Sorry, I think. Yeah, I think that's Sorry. So who are we? So let's check on... Oh, wrong menu. Who are we? Okay, so we got Sorry, that's us. And Miklio, that's our friend. We got something new for our friend. Uh, circle it, nope. Oh, actually, that's a, that's a benefit, that's a boost up. Let's go ahead and equip that. What about arts? Oh, how do... Nope, that's not what I need. Arts, there we go. Our friend got new art. Water Blast, Luna Strain. Oh, so you're just gonna use them auto automatically. Okay, cool. Auto mode, semi auto, and then control mode. So I'm just gonna let them do automatic mode. Just gonna let them handle that. What about us? True Fang, Steel Render, 
Starfall, Trihawk. I'm gonna go ahead and do semi auto, I guess. The left trigger A, that could be something. Never mind, nothing else. <laughs> still learning, still learning through all the menus. I'll get there eventually. Get another chest. What's this? Whoa! What the I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. I'll give it back once we return safely. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. I guess we got an item of a sort. You think there's a path to the other side? There gotta be a way through. Let's look around for clues. Alright, sounds good, buddy. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Anything over here? Oh, there's a plant. Let's go grab that. Uh, lavender. Boost attack power by 2, increase in damage inflicted by martial arts and hidden arts. Also restores HP and SC. Sweet. So it looks like these herbs are gonna be a major thing to keep up with and use in battle. So close, but it's still so far. Think we could jump? Only one way to find Ooh. out. I'm not jumping. <laughs> Let me go ahead and check on this. Spirit chains. Lower SCU, uh, lower USC, the higher the damage you inflict, but this is generally not recommended. SC recovery rate is... Okay, I already learned about SC. AP increased by 1. Nice. What have we got in the chest? A uh, life bottle. Uh, miracle cure heals KO for 1 ally. So it's like Phoenix down. Okay, cool. Pretty much a Phoenix down. Whoa. Yep, I'm not jumping that. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. Right, so we aren't jumping. What do we do, Mikleo? You think there'll be s you think there'll be something? It doesn't look like anything is in the upper floor lead to the other side. Let's check the lower floor one more time. Sounds good. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connected point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. Sounds good. Let's go over here, down like this. And... should we save just in case? Not... Mm. Will these games like feel more comfortable saving? <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and save. There we go. I see. So that's the deal. Huh? Haven't figured it out? Yeah, I have. Uh, yep, there's a staircase that's coming up from below. What would have- who would have thought you could walk in midair here? Uh, are we guessing on what- what are we gonna go with? There's a piece of dirt right over there. I'm seeing on screen, so I'm guessing we can walk on midair? Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? Or that an invisible bridge would be here. Think it could support a person? Well, well, aren't you sharp today? <laughs> For a change. There it is. Can we walk on it? What's that? Found a new discovery point, the invisible bridge. Discovery points, unique uh, unique to each area are discovery points, indicating a place of note in that area where you know a point is close by, uh, but cannot pinpoint its location, use it to look around the area. A safe point or located discovery points, the back button prompts may appear at the bottom left of the screen, press it to begin a skit and enjoy conversations between illuminating and insane. Seems safe enough. Yeah, this bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either way, they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. But good job picking up on that. Your intuition is always impressive. Oh yeah? For its rarity. There we go. I knew it was too good to be true. I like this game. I actually like this game. <laughs> and the characters are... a little cheesy, but, you know, that's the charm of it. I kinda like it. Let's go save the girl. 
Hey girl, how you doing? Uh, you dropped a spear. You okay? Maybe we should rethink this. Hey. Uh, are you all right? Uh, huh. Huh. I was... I was in a forest, and then... Looking for this? Yep, she's human, all right. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? Your name? Uh, oh. Right. My name. I'm Saray. Saray? Yep, nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? Saray, are you nuts? Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the way out. Let's get moving. Okay, so... Calling it, first of all, first of all, calling it, the, uh, Saray and that girl hook up, it's a romance, right there. To, at the very end, they're gonna be the romance couple. Calling it right now. Second of all, she does not see our friend. So either our friend is non-human, we either come from a place where humans and non-humans exist, we're definitely a human for sure, because she can see us somehow, or we're not human, but a certain entity that she can see. But our friend is non-human, that's for sure, because she cannot see him. She's a human, he is not human, humans cannot see whatever he is. But already calling it, Saray and that girl hook up right then and there. Okay, where the hell do we go? First of all, let's talk to her, see what she got for us. Hey, you alright? I appreciate the concern, but I'm fine. Lead the way. I'm right behind you. We don't know her name. So, Ray, you gotta ask the girl her name. You gotta ask the girl her name. What, what do you think? I'll go ahead, Mikleo. Uh, shh. Keep your voice down, or she will think you're a basket case. That'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay, so we cannot talk to him at this point, or else she will think we're a basket case, because... I think the reason why we can't talk... Alright, whatever. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so there's a place we gotta go to the center, and there's a place in the back. I kind of want to go check back here first, because you never know what you can find back here. Let's go down here. We're probably going to die, but it's whatever. We're going for it. What have we got over here? A door and a save point. Well, at least we got a save point around here. Uh, Spooters, you want to fight? I'm ready. For, I'm done for anything. Let's save on this one. Okay. Can we touch the door? Wait, hold on, the map feature did say this is a town, okay, so if you enter there, it won't open. It doesn't seem like there's anything on, uh, any kind of hidden mechanism. Wait, come back. How strange. Alright, now mind then, so the door won't open for us. Let's go back upstairs. Let's check this side of the hallway. And then after that, we'll probably just leave. I don't know. Anything else to do around here? I don't think so. We just got this way to go. Anything on this side? Just checking. Nope, nothing. Alright. 
I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Okay. But too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. Calling it, they become a romance couple at the very end. They are the romance couple for this for this series. Already calling it. Oh, that's where the door is at. Okay. Uh, we made it back in one piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. Okay, our friend now we know is a seraphim. We know the name for what he is, what entity he is. And seraphim we said was Can we get that book out? Is it in the menu? Uh items. Is the book anyway here? I wanna find the book and see if we can like open it up. No, nothing. Snacks, weapons, accessories, is it accessories? It's not accessories. Armor, rings, shoes, valuables. The book gotta be here, enemy book. Match about foes you have fought so far. Nothing here, skill book, discovery book. Celestial records. Can we not read it? Damn it, that sucks. Maybe we can, if over here. <gasps> Library! Ooh, 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 ooh. Celestial, celestial, celestial. Can we read the celestial? Records, reverse kind of data about the way you play. Uh, read an outline of the story so far. Information about foes you encountered. Skills you obtained. Discoveries you made. Game battle systems? No, that's not what I need. What about this? That system load, never mind. Damn it, I wanna I'm gonna read that book. I wanna know more about us. This. this looks cool. What have we got here? Got something on X. Take the girl to the village. 